Hey guys, I am starting off with a prepped tumbler. This is a 20 ounce skinny and I am just spray painting it pure white. This is the flat white from Rust-Oleum. You definitely want to use flat white, not the blossom white or whatever it is. That one will yellow your epoxy and make it look not good. So use the flat white, but just doing an all over white base. Once I was dry, I did do two coats of the paint as well. Going in with my Artistry Epoxy Fast Set, this is the one-to-one -one thick formula. It is my fave and I love it so much. So just putting that on there so we can move on to our next step. So now this is the fun part. So I cut out wild and I did a square around it. So we're gonna not be using the letters, but the square around it, cutting it out with my shape tape. If you need, I will put the uh, size, the cutting settings down below for silhouette. I'm not sure what it is for Cricut um, because I only have a silhouette. So now we are weeding out the sticky and the top layer of the letters and around the square. Sorry, my shape tape is dirty. I don't know what is on there, but it looks like either makeup was on my hands or dirt somehow got on there, but we're, that part's not being used anyways, so. But I just really loved the idea of doing the kind of cutout of the word and not the word itself, if, that, if I'm saying that right. So again, taking off the sticky and the top layer of where we don't want. Next up, you can use transfer tape. I'm just using packing tape. That's what I use, that's what I like. Um, go ahead and stick that on the top there. So now we are peeling the sticky and the top layer off of the backing. You make you wanna make sure you get the sticky layer. If you don't get the sticky layer, you're not gonna be able to put it on your cup. So it's just a little more tricky than working with vinyl because vinyl, obviously you can see it. This is kind of, I don't know, it's just different. You just wanna be a little more careful when doing this. Um, for some reason, I forgot to peel off the back of the D, the middle part of the D. So you'll see that in a minute, but there we have it. So I'm just gonna stick it on my tumbler. I like to anchor it at the top while it's standing up and then kind of hold it, put it in place. I feel like I end up with a straighter line this way. Then I just run my hand down the middle and then I kind of smooth it out towards the ends so we get a nice smooth shape tape, smooth surface. So then you're just gonna peel that tape off and you're also peeling off the top layer, leaving just the sticky layer. There you can see the middle of the D flipped up. So I was gonna fold it back down, but I decided to just cut it off and do it separately because yeah, trying to fold it back down would not work.
So I just cut out that little piece and then removed the backing and stuck it on there. So now we have our shape tape on the cup and this is the fun part. I have a little set of nail foils that I got from Amazon. They were really cheap. I picked out all the ones that were kind of brown, tan, gold, just kind of in that color range. You could do whatever foils you want. You can do whatever colors you want and you're just gonna stick them on randomly. You're not gonna make it perfect unless you want like perfect lines or triangles or anything. I intentionally wanted it to kind of look just random, just thrown on there, nothing perfect, nothing like even stripes, nothing, none of that. Just completely random is what I was going for. So just lay the strip down, press where you want and rip it off. Very simple. While I was doing this, I thought this would be such a great idea for kids. If you were doing like some kind of birthday party or like group project thing with kids. This would be so much fun because it's kind of foolproof once you get the shape tape on there, of course. So if you wanted to help them with the shape tape, get that on there. Let the kids do the foil. I think they would have a blast and you could cut their name out like this where it's their name in the center and you're foiling around the name. I just think that would be so cute and so fun for kids and they would get their own custom cup and then you could just finish the epoxy for them. But I just, love all these colors, the snake print, the leopard. Of course I love leopard, it's my favorite. Um, the two different tones of gold. I just could not be happier with all of these foils coming together like they did. So it's pretty self-explanatory. That's all we're doing here, just laying it down, ripping it off. There's so many possibilities when doing this technique, so I'm just excited and I need to do more. And I'm pretty sure my kids will wanna do this. You just wanna make sure all of the sticky spots are completely covered with foil. Then if you have any little spots that don't look nice and clean, just go in with a little razor or scissors, or I was using a needle pen and just clean it up. Then we're taking another layer of epoxy. I did two more layers just to finish off this cup.
Then this cup was done. I am so impressed with how it looks. It looks like it took a lot of effort and it really was not much effort at all. I am obsessed with leopard. I'm obsessed with the gold. I think I might keep this cup for me because I love it so much. I hope you guys like it too and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.